the required return. Thank you so much. So in this case here, PVF, present value interest factor. So we are calculating the discounted payback period. So how do we get this? We'll need to use PVF, present value interest factor to discount. Why am I making use of PVF? It's because these cash flows are irre irregular. I can't see regularity here, they're irregular. So I'm going to use PVF. And because the cost of capital given here is 10%, then I know. Here, I will talk of one plus 0 0.1. You see, 10% is the same as 0.1. Raised to negative what year somebody, N is the time period, which is what year? Zero. So then downwards, I'll talk of 1.1, 1.1, 1 1.1. We have 1.1. The only thing that will be changing now will be the year. So here, I'll talk of year one. Here, I'll talk of year two, year three, year four. So then what is the first figure, my good students? What is the first figure, my good students here? The first one is always one. It's always one when it is at time what year? Zero. Somebody, somebody may claim that the first one is always one and then next time they start from year one. So this is one. Anything raised to zero is always one. And then now you go to the second one, 1.1 .1 raised to minus one. 1 1.2, ah, Joseph Thorne, 0 0.1991. 0 0.1991. And then now we have the third figure the third figure, the third figure, the third figure, the third figure, we have 8264. 8264. And then we have the fourth figure, 7513. 7513. And then we have the last one, which is 1.1. 1 .1, no, no, 6530. 6830. Yeah? 6830. Remember, 10%, of course, is on your tables, isn't it? For your discounting tables, but it's good for you to get used to working with the formula. Otherwise, somebody will throw you out of a moving bus. It's very painful when you send a message to 2558. You send a message 2558 waiting for a good result and then you get a fail. That reminds me of a student eh, who had sent a message that number and she walked with that message for a whole week without opening the message. A whole week. I can't be that fearful in life. So come and give me the discounted cash flows. So discounted cash flows, what do we have? We shall take the figures that we have here, multiplied by the PV. So like the first one will be minus 100. The first one will be minus 100. How about the second one, somebody two decimal places. Two decimal places for purposes of moving with speed. 36. 36.36. Thank you so much. Thomas is very consistent. As I give Yvonne a present, I must also give a present to this boy child. He is very consistent. He is very consistent. So 50 times 0 0.8264, 41.32, 41.32. 41.32, we have 60 times 0 0.75, 13. Of course, I'm a good mathematician. I know I should be reading this as 0 0.7513, but here we go the mother tongue way. It is better that way. Uh -huh. The next one is 45.08. And then we go to the last one, great. 47.81. Now, after finishing doing this, what do you think will be the next thing to be done? We add them, isn't it? And they get a zero. Get a zero because I know what you guys are thinking. And this is what many people do because so many guys, they will go to getting net present value. And then the examiner wants you to. So don't you think we are supposed to have a column for cumulative? Thank you very much. Cumulative. So in this case here, we have the cumulative. <laughs> I know somebody, I know only somebody outside the bus, senior bus, <laughs> cumulative. <laughs> because the examiner really here wanted us to give them what you pay back. The rate is 10%. The rate is 10%. The rate is 10%. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So then when you give us cumulative, what do you have here? Minus 100. 
when you add this to this, what are we getting? 60 something, eh? 64 point, 63 point, six, four, and then negative, of course, isn't it? Then come and add this there. Negative 22 point, three, two, then come and add this there. Twenty two point seven six. Do I need to continue really with my cumulative? No, because they have turned to positive from negative, isn't it? What I need to do is to come and point zero here. We point zero there. Alafu ata kama uelewi sana, unakujua na mwandikia capital letters. Unakujua na mwandikia capital letters. Ata kama uelewi sana. Sazina, we scare these examiners. But somebody sometime back told me that uh, you can't scare Kasneb. It's a cut that cannot run away. So payback period, in this case, I should start with what here somebody, I can see zero is here, two, isn't it? So two plus one times something, isn't it? Yeah, times something, what is this something in the numerator? 22.32, isn't it? All over, in this case here, the prior, a secondary diagonal, all over 45.08, like that. Which will end up giving us what figure somebody here Somebody is asking again the same question whether one is constant. This one, yes. Whenever you have this, it's constant. Eh? 2.5 years. 2.5 years? They're not talking to me. They're not talking to me. 2.5 years, isn't it? 2.5 years. Thank you so much. 2.5 years. Thank you and thank you so much. So I would want to make a request to you that I have got more questions in the learning management system, our LMS system, our LMS system, our LMS system. You should be able to get there and watch videos on payback period. So now I can get a chance of doing what you're going to something different. Is there anybody here who has not yet gotten access to our LMS? Sure. You don't have access. You don't know how it, uh, what it is, eh? And the same, the same, the same is applicable to online. Then something must be wrong because once you pay to RCM, whether you've paid uh, for physical classes or online classes, you need to get access to our LMS, where you'll be able to get all the notes. Like now, I would want you to want to study there advantages, disadvantages of payback period. The biggest advantage being that it is the easiest model in terms of what your computations it's quite easy to calculate figures here can't access i'll be able to organize uh, then you guys uh, get access otherwise please allow me to go to the next model here to go to the next model to go to the next model here known as who okay fine i'll be able to address that don't worry when you are working with me you should be the least worried person in this earth. Least worried. Ato kienda po njoo kishuko na city council ona ni pigia mimi, isn't it? Least worried. When do you plan to finish this class? This fella should not be here. This fella, <laughs> this fella will just chase chase this fella from here. Anyway, we shall finish at exactly twelve. Twelve. Thank you so much. So then I would want us to go straight away to what we call profitability index. So model number two is the profitability index. Profitability index, PI, profitability index. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how do we calculate the profitability index? Is there somebody who knows the formula of getting profitability index? Anybody who could be knowing how we calculate the profitability index? Profitability index. Anybody, anybody, anybody who could be knowing how we compute? Ah, 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 great. 
my online students are giving me answers. I'm also waiting to hear from you. PI, PI. No idea, we shall overcome. You, are, you, are you a very new student? Ah, uh, great, we shall still overcome. We shall overcome, all is well. Never panic in this world. You should never ever panic. Never panic. Sasa, wacheni uulize kwanza swali. Wacheni uulize swali kwanza. I can see you guys writing so many types of formulas. This profitability index, is it PV over IO or is it like this? Net present value over initial outlay. Which one is which? The first or the second? Pata potea. Pata potea, pata potea. The first one, the first one. The latter, why do you want to complicate life with very big English? Don't complicate life. Don't complicate life. Both of them are correct. Both of them are correct. And we should be able to rank projects consistently using either, using either. Both of them are correct. Let me demonstrate this for you to understand. So if, for example, I've got uh, four projects, we have A, B, C, or three projects, and then they come here and they give us the total present value. Here they give us, for example, 100. Here they give us 80. Here, for example, they give us 60. And then we have the initial outlay. Initial outlay. Here, for example, they give us 40. Here, for example, they give us uh, 10. Here, for example, they give us 50, like that. So we are required to calculate NPV and the PI and the PI. Calculate net present value and profitability index. We can't now see the board. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. What may have happened, really? We shall overcome. One minute. So here we are calculating net present value and the profitability index. So then I'll come and create a column here for net present value. Net present value will be total present value minus who? The initial outlay, isn't it? Yeah, very easy. No discounting here. Total present value minus the initial outlay. So like the first one will be 100 minus 40. So the first project's NPV is 60. The second one will be 80 minus 10, which will give me 70. Then we have here 60 minus 50, which will give me what somebody there, 10. So then how about profitability index? So to get profitability index, I want us to use the two methods we see. Profitability index, let's use this one here, NPV over initial outlay. NPV over initial outlay. So net present value divided by the initial outlay. So the net present value here, the first one is 60, isn't it? So 60 divided by what somebody we are following? 40, isn't it? 60 divided by 40, abracadabra, 60 divided by 40 will give me what figure? 1.5, 1.5. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, 1.5. And then we have here, uh, the next one will be 70 divided by 10. 70 divided by 10, which will give me seven. And then the last one, ladies and gentlemen, will be what divided by what here, somebody? 10 divided by? By 50, right? Because remember, it is 10 divided by the initial outlay. So 10 divided by the initial outlay gives me what figure? 0 0.2. Could you kindly do me a favor? Please go ahead and rank those projects using profitability indices. This is a model that we use to rank projects, especially in situations where we have capital rationing. Rank them. So the higher, the better. The higher, the better. So in terms of rank, which one takes up number one? Project B takes up number one, isn't it? This takes number two. This takes number what, yeah, somebody? Number three. 
Is that okay? Great. Then could you kindly again go ahead and give us the profitability index, but this time around using present value in the numerator, in the numerator. Give us profitability index, give us profitability index, give us profitability index. So if you allow me, I will come and rub this. I can actually even rub this, I don't need this. I can rub this. So now we are using this second method, profitability index equals present value over initial outlay. So is there somebody who is able to see the present value? Like now here we have a hundred. A hundred divided by who? Somebody, if you're following using this approach, 40. A hundred divided by 40. Uh -huh. The next one we have got 80 eh? divided by what here, somebody? 10. And then the last one we've got 60 eh? divided by what here, somebody? 50. So then could you kindly give me these figures very fast? This question is very fast. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. 2.5, the first one, Thomas is very, very consistent. Very, very consistent. Very consistent. Very consistent. Thanks, Cecilia, as well. Uh, so we have 2.58. And then what here, somebody? 1.2, isn't it? So are we getting the same answers? Are we getting the same answers? Using the two methods, are we getting the same numbers? Really? People are saying no. So now when, when a whole person like myself who has done this finance for the last, uh, for the last, uh, for the last uh, 20 years been teaching this finance, and then I say that, the two models would give us the same answers and then they end up giving us different answers. Should I cry, what should I do? Ladies and gentlemen, the numbers can never be the same, but the ranks will always be the same. The ranks will be the same. So let's try ranking we see. So this is number one, this takes number, this takes number, are the ranks the same? Yes, that is the most important thing. Ranking is the same. So have we learned some important, have we learned some important concept here really? Because I've seen always people struggling. I've seen people struggling. Yeah, I'm coming to that. Thanks, Milka. I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. That should not scare you. That's a very small thing. That should not scare you at all. That one is a very, very small thing. In German language, they call such Ochugunu. I know you guys are not widely traveled, so you may not know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> we shall overcome, isn't it? We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Okay, so I'm looking for a great question that we should be able to tackle here. Ambayo haina maneno, ya profitability index. Ile question ambayo haina maneno, ya profitability index. Before I take you through a lengthy one of how to get what here, cash flow. Because your examiner will never give you the cash flow statement. Your examiner cannot give you the cash flow statement nowadays. Yes. Look at May 2016, question number 4D. May 2016, question number four dog. May 2016, question number four dog. May 2016, question number four dog. Remember, these are questions of financial management. I will come back to advanced financial management questions in a few. In a few. I'll not tell you the page number because I know. The problem. My book is very old. May 2016, question number 4D. May 2016, question number 4D. Once you get the question, can you kindly put up your hands? If you are online, an online student, you should be able to put up your hand if you have the question so that, uh, or you simply say, why for yes? You simply say, why for yes, Yvonne? You're always on top of things. Yes, thank you very much. So, Laika Limited, I hope you guys as well, you have the question, right? 
Great. Laika Limited has identified five investment projects with the following details. So for the sake of the students who don't have this, I will be able to copy down the projects. If you don't have the question, then you'll be able to see this. Upside down. Okay. Great. 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 So ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Here we are. So we have here A, B, C, D, E. So A, B, C, D, E. They have given us here the I, O. I, O. I, O, 120. We have 160. I always mark financial management and I really sympathize with very many students. That this is the easiest paper, but I think students don't take really time to study this paper. Because you'll get a script where a student has written basically nothing, nothing, nothing. But at the end of the booklet, they always remember to tell God to bless the work of their hands. I've never, someone who has not treated nothing, even nothing. And then at the end of it, God, which hands now? I'm a prayer's work wonders. Sometimes, eh? But please try to write something inside. Like now this one is a very easy question. 19.8. So then additional information, what are they telling us in the additional information? Additional information, ladies and gentlemen, is that none of the investment projects could be delayed. Total amount available, this is very important for you to write. Total amount available for investment, total amount available, total amount available, Total amount available is 300. Total amount available is 300. And then they want us to require a device management, a device management of Leica Limited, of Leica Limited, of Leica Limited, of Leica Limited on the most appropriate, on the most appropriate on the most appropriate, on the most appropriate investment projects to undertake. Investment projects, investment projects to undertake, investment projects to undertake. Most appropriate investment projects to undertake. So the students who are writing this question, the moment you write, all of us must write this table. The moment you finish writing, could you kindly put your thumbs up like this? Kindly put up your thumbs up like this. And there are students I really, really admire here. Like there are students who have been together from 4 a.m. These guys were awake at 4 a.m., 4.30 to be precise. And here we are still with them. They have energy, which is what here unparalleled. That's very good. Uh, the year, it's a section three question, not a section, but intermediate question, intermediate level question. It's May 2016, question number four, dog. May 2016, question number four, dog. So have we finished uh, putting down the table? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Have we finished uh, putting down the table? We shall overcome. We shall overcome. All is well. Great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this question is a profitability index question. How have I known that it's a profitability index question? What makes me straight away know that this is a profitability index question? It's because of what here? Yeah, capital that is rationed. It's a capital rationing question. And if it's a capital rationing question, there are two ways of solving capital rationing questions. We can either make use of profitability index or we make use of what you call linear program. If you remember linear programming, here we shall use Profitability index, profitability index. I'll be able to explain later why. Remember, I can even explain now. Here we only have one restriction that we cannot surpass the 300 capital, one restriction. We only get to go to linear programming whenever the restrictions are two or more, two or more. In most cases in your exam, you will be given one condition, 
Like now here, the condition is that the amount which is available is what here somebody is 300. So then if this amount which is available is 300 and you're not able to finance all these projects, what will you do? There are some projects in these cases that you must forego, which reminds me some time back when my son was very young, we went with this guy to some supermarket. So, you know, in the supermarket during those old days when Nakumat was Nakumat, quite shameful when Nakumat was Nakumat. So he used to go there with trolleys, not a trolley, or not a trolley, just a bit, just a bit, just a bit. So Kufika Kwa, the teller lady, and I finna finna namna hi, you need something forty something thousand. Credit card, card yangu kumba iku ana pesa. Ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ile pesa iku ingeza kufika yofo. Now those days people used to queue a lot. Women or everybody behind me, say like 20 people. Namuwa mze ikad ya ina kitu. Woy. So, your guess, of course, is as good as mine. I had to drop a few things under there. And now I was dropping in this case here things that were not what here, that were not so important, which included some of uh, these young man's things. And the young man now started crying, uh, making the, I mean, the whole, it, it was a big thing. So the same case here, you can't afford this. If you can't afford them, then what do you do? You must drop some of them. And how do you drop some of them? You must use profitability what here, eh? index here. Yeah. So then come and create a column for profitability index. Now, let me ask you a question. Must I calculate present value or do I go ahead and make use of NPV the way it is? We make use of NPV the way it is, isn't it? So the formula here, profitability index, I will talk of NPV divided by what here, somebody initial outlay. See, for example, Yeah. Uzuri sa tumeanza ma zoezi. And by the way, we normally have classes here every Saturday, no fortnightly. Saturdays at, uh, do you work on Saturdays? If you don't work on Saturdays, we normally have some classes. First, can I confirm? Sane, Paka, Sasaba. So I don't know whether I can be inviting the online students as well for these uh, Saturday classes, for the Saturday classes. Great. They will be purely revision. Purely revision, purely revision, purely revision, purely revision. And I'm so sure they will help most of us. So NPV, abracadabra, alafu rejua pia Satan is real. Utapata mwanafuzi mwerevu asha ajua formula. But because Satan, Satan ako, mdo sikombea shetana ya yuko, yuko. Unapata mwanafuzi ya mwanafuzi ya kusama pa 120 over 24. So unashanga u mwanafuzi. Ndiyo mwana nafa unaomba sana kabla kuenda exa, eni ya mefanya opposite. Amez an initial outlay. The time you can mukali, that's mum keme sana. Ana ku fuata fuata. So twenty four divided by one twenty, which gives us what figure somebody here? Zero point two. So this gives us zero point two like that. And then now we have this. Now you guys should be able to give me the other figures. Ayoro tells me zero point one seven, right? Zero point two. To sell. I love to book a profitability index, by the way, in a phone around off to many decimal places. That's something of Caribbean asana. Profitability index, if you can, four decimal, just like PV. Profitability index, we shall be writing these in four decimal places. We shall not relent on that. So let's start from scratch again. Let's start from scratch again. Please give me four decimal. Come on, 0 0.2. Then I'll write 0 0.2000. Four decimal places because profitability indices at times these figures can be very close can be very close, can be very close, can be very close, can be very close. I love the biggest favor about the fanya mwalimu ni kuenishua muna pita, nyote 100%. Because in kikufunza, I love you you are another one. Zero point, two seven exactly, right? So no problem, and four decimal, no problem. So zero point, one seven. Oh, zine ngiana iwo vizuri, eh? Ah, okay. Kumba kuna jakuboza na four decimal places. Ina kuja 0.24. 0.24. Aha. The last one. Na kuja ngapi ya brakadabra. 0.18. Thank you so much. So having gotten profitability indices, sister mekata moja. Waja turudu nyuma kidogo. This is supposed to be 0 0.198. Eh? So please. Kumbuka hii. Ini 110, is he 100? No, it's that person who is really calling you many times. I'll talk to that person. It's 19.8 divided by 110. 
which gives me 0 0.18. So please go ahead and give us the ranks. Oh, yeah. Because profitability indi indices, your maua, what is your and your profitability indices, plus to me a kurank, plus to me a kurank. So which one takes up number one? Which, which one takes up number one? I, I want to do some experiment to my online students. Naka kuona, nikiweka hii microphone chini, mtaskia, kama mtaskia nieze kuitua kabisa, sabi come back and fupi sana. So naeka chini, this microphone, and then we test. Which cannot move to far, far places. Oh, yes. How about here? How about here? Thank you very much, Leshamta. This is much better. This is much better. But even this one, I can't move very far away. But we shall, but it's much better. Yes, it's much better. Yes. Great. So then let's rank this. Let's rank this. So which one takes up number one? A, yeah, so B, one, uh -huh. number two, C, or D, yeah. number three, A, number four, ah. E, so number four, number five, C, this is the last one, yes. And then now remember, remember, what do they want us to do at the end of the day? What do they want us to do at the end of the day? Advise the management of Leica Limited on the most appropriate investment projects to undertake. So come and give us another table here for the ranked projects. Ranked projects. So ranked projects, abracadabra, we began with boy. We have, in this case here, boy, the cost. The cost of boy is what here somebody 160, isn't it? And then we have the second one is dog. The cost of dog is how much? 90. And then we have the third ranked project is A. And the cost of A is how much here somebody? Are you seeing already we have surpassed? Already we have surpassed. Remember how much do we have in total here? 300. The available is 300. If you add these three, how many parties is total in Gapi? What do you have surpassed if you add here the total? 370, yeah? 370, isn't it? 370. 370. Already these three, I don't have to continue really writing down. I know I have 300 in my pocket. I know I have 300 in my pocket. So the total here for, for the three, the first three is 370 and available, available, available is 300 if you subtract what is the deficit 70 so 70 is the deficit 70 is the deficit what do we do with this deficit you recover it from the projects you recover this from the last ranked project from the last ranked project so you say minus ngapi somebody up we niko peke yangu minus 70 isn't it alafu unajua straight away site back ngapi hapa 50, isn't it? Alafu nakuju na sema hapa the new NPVs. So NPV ya boy ilikuwa ngapi? Niko peke yangu bata will overcome. 43.2. Ya boy. NPV ya dog? 21.6. NPV ya A? 24. But you see 24 has to be prorated, isn't it? Yeah, boy, because you have not invested that fully in boy. Boy, you have only taken a fraction. And actually, the fraction here in Ngape, 50 over what? Because you have only invested 50 and we are supposed to invest 50 over 120. Abracadabra, the party of figure, you understand? You're the Rudie. You're the Rudie. The party of figure, Kwanza. Please make use of your charts. If you're not able to follow, if you're not able to follow totally, make use of your charts very well. 10, right? 10, 10. So, and therefore, from the project that you choose, uh, in this case here, come and give us the total net present value. Give us the total net present value. 
give us the total net present value. The sound is not so clear. This is the... How about now, Ayoro? Are you able to hear me now much better? Ayoro, are you able to hear me much better? Great, thank you very much. Remember A, if we invested in A 100%, we'd have gotten 24, isn't it? But you see A, you have decided to shoot down its budget. You've shot down its budget. You've shot down its budget. You've shot down its budget. Two fifty out of one. So this has to be prorated. Let me repeat this. Let me repeat this. This does not really sink in very well. This doesn't sink in very well. This doesn't sink in very well. Let me make this sink in. So assuming, ladies and gentlemen, assuming, ladies and gentlemen, assuming, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, this thing here. You told me in the ranked projects, in the ranked projects, what do we have? We have a boy. From there, we have a dog. From there, we have, in this case here, A. From there, we have E. And then lastly, we have C. What are the costs? Cost in Besha Shiga, nah. Uh, no, B, B is 160, isn't it? Dog is 90, A is, E is 110, C lastly. So could you kindly give me the total here? Here, just give me the total. Five hundred, five eighty. So this is what you need. This is what I needed with my boy in that supermarket. But what was available? Ilikuwa ngapi somebody? Three hundred. So my deficit ilikuwa ngapi? Two eighty, right? So with this deficit of two eighty, I know if it is uh, the modern times, you would easily go to Fuliza, isn't it? Yeah, those days I could You have to return some things. I'm telling you. You have to return some things. So in this case here, I have to come and return because I have a deficit. So then what do I do? I must recover these 280 upwards. Yani, this is a true definition of bottom up. So unanda na yachini kabisa. So hii nataka ni recover 280, isn't it? So of course I can't get 280 from this. So it means first of all, I eat the whole of this. Next, nikuye nikule gani somebody hapa, nikule imia 110 yote, sinikuye li. So out of 280, 70, eh? and now 70 can fit here. So minus 70 like that. So then this is, don't invest in C, don't invest in E at all. Don't, in this case here, invest, or rather A, invest how much? 50. Of course, here now we'll invest there. So this 50, it will be 50 out of what here for A? Out of 120. So in terms of now NPVs, in terms of NPVs, NPV of boy, was what year somebody 40? 3.2. So this one I don't prorate because I'm investing fully in it. NPV of dog, NPV of dog is 21.6, isn't it? But NPV of A must be prorated. NPV of A must be prorated, isn't it? Yeah, because of 50 over 120 times. NPV of A, NPV of A, which is 20 what year? 24. So 50 over 120 times 24, in a kujangapi. 10, eh? And then the others, do we recognize uh, anything in this case, ladies and gentlemen, here and yet you never invest, not unless you're a thief. You see, you never invested at all, right? It's only thieves in this case here who harvest where they have not, in this case here, uh, uh, sown anything, sown anything. So when you add here, then you should be able to get the total net present value. So now, are we together up to there? Are we together up to there? Are we together now? Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? Great, 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 great. Life is good. So na hapa ya kwamba, wakituletea swale kama ikuwe kwa mtiani tutapita. Sini kweli. Tuna hapa ya kwamba, wakituletea swali tunapita. Mala sumbua wanafunzi kidogo ni kitu ya bottoms up. So please ensure that you are able to do what you have to understand this later on at your own time, review this. 
So then I would want us to take a break in my bag. Thanks, Yvonne. So I would want us to take a break, a break of 30 minutes, a break of 30 minutes. When we come back, when we come back, I've seen already when we come back, when we come back, we will be able to continue. 30 minutes, why? Because I have to buy my students, eh? physical students here breakfast this morning. Thank you very much. All the best. We meet at exactly what time? That is 10.15, uh, 10.15. 10, Great. Please don't fail to come back. And we're going to use the same link and share that link with everybody else because I would want to get big following. Thank you.